Oh man, really? <laughs> so we gotta do this again. Oh. Back so soon. How are you feeling? Ready? I'm ready. Again, I guess. I see. This is it then. So, is he gonna take out the... Ready? Alright, I guess. Is he gonna take it out? A strange light fills the room. Yep. Twilight is shining through the barrier. So, is he gonna take out? Seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with DETERMINATION! Which he needs. Or human. It was nice to meet you. Goodbye. And he's gonna take out the mercy button again? Oh! There we go! That was a lot easier. Yay, Mom! Mom! <laughs> that is exactly what she said at the beginning. What a miserable creature torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Yay! Do not be afraid, my child. It is I, Toriel, your friend and guardian, my mom. At first, I thought I would let you make your journey alone. I could not stop worrying about you. Your adventure must have been so treacherous. And ultimately, it would burden you with a horrible choice. To leave this place, you would have to take the life of another person. You would have to defeat Asgore. However, I realized I cannot allow that. Yes! It is not right to sacrifice someone to simply let... Sacrifice someone simply to let someone leave here. Is that not what I've been trying to prevent this whole time? So, for now, let us suspend this battle. As terrible as Asgore is, he deserves mercy too. Tori. Yes, you... I could tell by the look at you guys. Look, you came back. Do not Tori me, dreamer. You pathetic whelp. If you really wanted to free our kind, you could have gone through the barrier after you got one soul. Taken six souls from the human, and then come back and freed everyone peacefully. But instead, you made everyone live in despair because you would rather wait here, meekly hoping another human never comes. Tori. I am a miserable creature. But do you think we can at least be friends again? <sighs> no, Asgore. Ah, Asgore! Human! Nobody fight each other! Everyone's gonna make friends or else all... All? Hello, I'm Toriel. Are you the human's friend? It's nice to meet you. Uh... Yeah! Nice to meet you! Hey, Asgore, is that your ex? Jeez, that's rough, buddy! Oh, look, everybody's here! Hey, nobody hurt each other! Oh, are you another friend? I'm Toriel! Hello! Uh, hi! There's two of them? Yeah, see, they do look the same. <laughs> Hey, nobody fight anyone! If anyone fights anyone, then I'll be forced to ask Undy for help! <laughs> hello? Oh, hello, your majesty. Psst. Hey, human! Did Asgore shave and clone himself? <laughs> oh, it's Sans. Hey, guys, what's up? Yes, I knew it! I knew that, that she was gonna say something. That voice! Hello? I think we may know each other? Oh, hey, I recognize your voice too. I am Toriel. So nice to meet you. The name's Sans, and uh, same. Oh, wait, then this must be your brother, Papyrus. Yes. Greetings, Papyrus. So nice to finally meet you. Your brother has told me so much about you. Wowie! I can't believe Asgore's clone knows who I am. This is the best day of my life! Hey, Papyrus, what does a skeleton tile his roof with? Hmm, snowproof roof tiles? No, silly! A skeleton tiles its roof with shingles! 
I changed my mind. This is the worst day of my life. Come on, Asgore. It's going to be okay. There are plenty of fish in the sea. Y yeah, Asgore. Undyne's totally right about that fish thing. But sometimes you just got to, uh, to stop going after furry boss monsters and uh, just, uh, just get to know a really cute fish. It's a metaphor. <laughs> well, I, I think it's a good analogy. O-M-G <laughs> Metaton Well you two just a smooch already The audience is dying for some romantic action Hey shut up Man the nerve of that guy Right Alphys Uh Alphys <laughs> No He's right Let's do it Well uh I, I guess you know if you want to then don't hold anything back. Oh, 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 oh. What, what, wait, not in front of the human. Uh, right. Sorry, I got a little carried away there. <laughs> oh, it's everybody. My child, it seems as if you must stay here for a while. But looking at all the great friends you've made, I think, I think you'll be happy here. Hey, that reminds me, Papyrus, you called everyone here, right? Well, besides, uh, her. Uh, anyway, if I got here before you, how did you know to call everybody? Let's just say a tiny flower helped. Oh, come on. A, a tiny flower? Oh, please. Are you kidding? No! Oh, seriously? You idiots! While well, you guys are having your little power, I took the human souls, and now not only are those under my power, but all of your friends' souls are gonna be mine too. <laughs> and you know the best part is, it's all your fault. It's all because you made them love you. All the time you spent listening to them, encouraging them, caring about them. Without that, they wouldn't have come here and now, but their souls and the humans together, I will achieve my real form. Hehe. <laughs> huh? Why am I still doing this? Don't you get it? This is all just a game. If you leave the underground satisfied, you'll win the game. If you win, you won't want to play with me anymore, and what would I do then? This game between us will never end. I'll hold victory in front of you just within your reach, and then tear it away just before you grasp it. Over. And over and over. <laughs> Listen, you do defeat me, I'll give your happy ending. I'll bring your friends back, I'll destroy the barrier, everyone will be satisfied. But that won't happen. You keep you here no matter what. Oh, what am I supposed to do? I can't even. Even if it means killing you a million times. Honestly, what am I supposed to do? Oh, please. I can't move an inch. Come on. Yeah, who did that? Who did that? What? Do not be afraid, my child. No matter what happens, we will always be there to protect you. Oh, yeah. Okay. So that was... Oh, look at that. Oh, nice. So the first one was Toriel. And that was Sans and Undyne. Or no, Papyrus and Undyne, probably. That's right, that's right, human. You can win. Just do what I would do. Believe in you. Hey, human, you got past me. You can do anything. So don't worry, we're with you all the way. Huh? You haven't beaten this guy yet? Come on, this weirdo's got nothing on you. Okay. Oh, okay, yep, okay. I, one, I'm... Alphys and one was Asgore. Technically, it's impossible for you to beat him, but but somehow, I know you can do it. Human, for the future of humans and monsters, you have to stay determined. I will. Oh, look! Come on, you got this! La la la! You gotta win! Oh my! Look at all of my friends! Look, I got full health too. No! Unbelievable! This can't. Be happening! You! You! Idiot. It's kill or be killed. Oh. 
I can't believe you're all so stupid. All of your souls are mine. No, 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 no. This is crazy. Huh? What am I supposed to do? Is that... Who is that? Turn around. Who's laughing? Finally. I was so tired of being a flower. What? This is Flowey? Flowey? Howdy! Think, are you there? It's me. Your best friend. My what? Whoa! Azriel Dreamer? Oh, uh, what? What do you mean, it's the end? Dream? Hope? You think about why you're here now. You can feel the empty space in your inventory get smaller and smaller. What? Oh, jeez. Stop, 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 stop. Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. It's the end. Hope? You held on to your hopes. Whoa! Holy cow! You reduced how much damage you'll take this turn. Okay. Whoa! Jeez! This is complete insanity, what? <laughs> this is like, oh, I'm buying the soundtrack after this game is over. Azrael charges the shocker breaker. Oh, look at that. Okay, you know, I don't care about destroying this world anymore. Okay, guys, this game is absolutely crazy awesome. What? Ah, oh, I love this game so much. Okay, Azriel calls on the Chaos Saber. Dream? Your items fill up with dreams, okay? After I defeat you and get control over the timeline, I just want to reset everything. No, no, no. What? What are we doing here? Oh, come on. How am I supposed to know which one's gonna... Yikes! I'm gonna die. Um, wait, did it say something about dreams? Should I, what, what do, maybe I have to do something with that bad memory. Okay. All oh, your progress, everyone's memories. Bring them all back to zero. No, 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 don't do that. I, I love this game too much for that. Azrael ready, star blazing. Come on, damage reduced. Okay, I think if I keep reducing my damage, then we can do everything all over again. If I reduce enough damage, then, then hopefully I just won't take anymore. That's what I'm hoping for. Okay. Oh no, I still took a lot. I think it's only that turn. And you know what the best part of all this is? You'll do it! I don't know what that means. Gosh! That rainbow- Whoa! Woo! That was close. Chaos Saber. Okay, um... Hamburger. And then you'll lose to me again. All uh, right. Oh, I get it. Oh, I see. Okay. Come on, I keep holding on and, and again. Yes, that's true. Gosh. That's crazy! <sighs> I'll eat some chips. There we go. And again! Jeez. This is going so poorly. Galacta blazing? I keep holding on. Oh, my, my health went up a little bit, but. Because you want a happy ending. Yes, that is true. I do. I do. I want the happy ending. I want the the, the true ending. Oh gosh, I'm gonna die. 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 I knew it. Dummy. Ugh. Wait, what? What? But it refused. Huh? What just happened? 
Oh, it started over? Did it start over, or? Gosh, I'm so bad at this. Okay, at least I got away from that. So wait, we kept holding on, damage reduced. How come she's not talking anymore? Ugh. Ah. Okay. Cause you love your friends. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Oh my gosh, I forgot. Ah, gosh, I'm so so bad at this. Uh, crab apple. I think it doesn't matter if I die though, because you never give up. That's true. I don't. Ah, so that's the, you just gotta, whoa, that never happened before. Isn't that delicious? Your determination, the power that let you get this far, it's gonna be your downfall. So wait, I, I'm not, I'm still not sure about this. Is, is Toriel like bad or, or, or what? I mean, Azriel, oh wait, Azriel, Asgore and Toriel together, hyper goner. Now, enough messing around. It's time to purge this timeline once and for all. Whoa. Oh, that thing. I saw that thing in, in, the, in the lab. What on earth? Okay, I don't know what's going on here. I don't know what's going on here. Just keep me away from that. Even after that attack, you're still standing in my way? Wow, you really are something special. Don't get cocky. Up until now, I've only been using a fraction of my real power. Let's see what good your determination is against this. What What would that be? Azrael blocks the way. Okay, I can't actually... I can't use an item, so... Struggle? Can't move your body? <laughs> Hold my true power. I've got one HP. Ah! Oh, jeez. All right, all right, all right. Let me try it again. <laughs> okay. Every time you die, your grip on this world slips away. Every time you die, your friends forget you a little more. Your life will end here in a world where no one remembers you. That's not true. My friends always love me and remember me and care. Oh, man. Wait, can I? Oh, okay. Wait, what is she? The whole world is ending. No. Can't move your body. Still, you're hanging on. That's fine. In a few moments, you'll forget everything too. That attitude will serve you well in your next life. At least I get it. Whoop! Ah, oh, come on. <sighs> Still, come on. Show me what good your determination is now. I'm trying to dodge your attacks. These are impossible. Whole world is ending. Nope. Can't move your body. Nothing happened. You struggle. Nothing happened. You tried to reach your save file. <laughs> Nothing happened. You tried again to reach your save file. Nothing happened. Even saving the game really is impossible. But, but maybe with what little power you have, you can save something else. All right. <gasps> oh, who do I save? I don't know. I want to save them all. I want to save them all. Um, save. I guess I should choose A Asgore because we've got Azriel, right? So, As Asgore, you reached out to Azriel's soul and called it out to your friends. They're in there somewhere, aren't they? Oh, wait, is this all of my friends like put together somehow? Dot dot dot. Within the depths of Azriel's soul, something's resonating. The lost souls appeared. So there's, well, Toriel and Asgore. No, no, no. No, 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 no. I won't do that. I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna, wait, why did it fight? I didn't want to fight. 
Wait, no. You refuse to fight the lost soul. Something about this is so familiar to her. No one will leave again. This is my duty. No, you, no, it's not. It's not. It's not your duty at all. Hug. You hug the lost soul and tell her that you're going to see her again. Something about this is so familiar to her. Come on. You can do this. Oops. Come on. Get around. Get around. Get around. Okay. Lost soul, stand there. Preference? I don't know. You tell the lost soul that you prefer butterscotch instead of cinnamon. Somehow, she faintly recalls hearing this before. No one will leave again. This is my duty. Okay. Lost soul, stand there. Let's, um... Oh, and I didn't talk to her. I need to talk to her, too. You tell the lost soul that you have to go if you're going to free everyone. Suddenly, her memories are flooding back. Seeing her remember you... The male lost soul tried hard to remember you too. Your fate is up to you now. You are our future. Yes? Okay. Save Azriel. Wait. I, uh, wait, what? I did I not save? I, I I didn't you feel something faintly resonating within Az No no. What am I doing? Gosh, okay. Ugh. That's tw like that's twice that I've chosen the wrong thing. Okay, let's. Let's go Undyne and Alphys probably together. Something's resonating. Okay, cool. The lost soul appeared. Oh, okay, so it's Undyne. No! Why do I keep doing that? Why is my heart green? Oh. Right, I forgot her attack. Okay. Ugh, okay, lost soul. Um. Fake hit. You tap the lost soul lightly. Something about the way you fight is familiar to her. You're our real enemy. Okay. Alright, uh, I can still do that. The lost soul stands there, act, recipe. Teach you how to cook. She doesn't know why, but she kind of wants to teach you how. Mercies for the weak. Ah! Smile. Like you remember she likes you to do? Suddenly, the memories are flooding back. Well, some humans are okay, I guess. Yes, okay. Um, okay, so not save. There we go. Saving. I'm gonna go with Sans. I'm gonna go Sans. Yep, next. Alright, here we go. Let's see what Sans has got for us. The oh, it's Sans and Papyrus together. Okay, cool. So, oh, jeez. Oh, I must capture a human. Just give up. I did. Wait, oh, right. I forgot that. Okay. Forgot that the blue heart has gravity. <laughs> here we go. Joke. Told the lost soul a bad joke about skeletons. He seems to hate it, but the other lost soul seems to like it. Oh. Then everyone will. I even try, dude. Oops. Gosh. Um, so, joke with this one. He told the lost soul a bad pun about skeletons. He seems to love it, but the other lost soul seems to hate it. Ah, you'll never see him again. Oh, jeez. What am I doing? Oh, that, oh, man. Uh, recipe, yes. You ask the lost soul to cook something for you. The lost soul is trying to hide its joy. Okay. Ah! <laughs> wow, that, I'm so bad. Um. Oh, wait, you know who likes puzzles? Wait, yeah, he likes puzzles, doesn't he? Suddenly, the memories are flooding back. Yes! No way! You're my friend! I could never capture you! Nah, I'm rooting for you, kid. Alright. Cool. Alright, so save. Alphys! Within the depths of Avril's soul, something is resonating. The lost soul appeared. Act. Uh. Nerd out. You ask the lost soul what her favorite cartoon is. She can barely hold back from giving an enormous answer. You hate me, don't you? Oh, right. Wait, I thought I could... Oh, wait. Oh, right. It's... I forgot the key that you used to, to fire things. Okay. The lost soul stands there. Encourage. You tell the lost soul that you'll continue to support her. Something about the way you said that is familiar to her. I've got to keep lying. Okay. Jeez, I did really bad there. Um... 
call? You call the lost soul on the phone. She starts to sweat. Suddenly, the memories are flooding back. No, that's not true. My friends like me and I like you too. That's it. Everyone is safe. You feel your friends' souls resonating with an Asriel. Save someone else. Strangely, as your friends remembered you, something else began resonating within the soul. And stronger and stronger. It seems that there's still one last person that needs to be saved. But who? Me? Suddenly, you realize. You reach out and call their name. Huh? What are you doing? I don't even know. <gasps> this is the beginning of the game. Oh, so cute. <laughs> Oh, look at all. <laughs> you feel your friend's souls resonating within Azrael. Save Azrael. Whoa. What did you do? What's this feeling? What's happening to me? No, no, I, I don't need anyone. Oh my goodness. How am I supposed to dodge these? Okay, I'm good. Again? Save Azrael. Stop it! Get away from me! Do you hear me? I'll tear you apart! Oh, come on, get past, get past. Oh! Again. Think! Do you know why I'm doing this? Why I keep fighting to keep you around? No? Oh, hey, th that's like when um, Toriel fought me. I'm doing this because you're special, Think! You're the only one that understands me. You're the only one who's any fun to play with anymore. So nothing will hurt me, right? Yeah. Indestructible now. No, that's not just it. I, I, I'm doing this because I care about you, Think. I care about more than, I care about you more than anybody else. Ah, uh, this game. I'm not ready for this to end. I'm not ready for you to leave. I'm not ready to say goodbye to someone like you again. Oh, this is so good. <laughs> ah! I'm so glad that I kept playing. Uh, so please, stop doing this and just let me win. I can't, I don't know what to, 0 0.9, 0 0.5, 0 0.1. 0.01! Stop it! 0.01! 0.01! Stop it now! 0.01! Look at that! 0.00001! Come on. Think! I'm so alone. Think. I, I'm so afraid, think. Think. I... I... Oh, there you are. You're normal now. You're a little kid. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Don't cry. Oh, don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. I was always a crybaby, wasn't I? Think it's. Is it my brother or. No, you're not actually Think, are you? What? Think's been gone for a long time. What? Um, what? What is your name? Frisk? What? That's a nice name. Frisk. I haven't felt like this for a long time. As a flower. Oh, you're flowy! I get it now! Oh. Ah. Oh. I lack the power to love other people. However, with everyone's souls inside me, I not only have my own compassion back. And I can feel every other monsters as well. They all care about each other so much. And they care about you too, Frisk. I wish I could tell you how everyone feels about you. Papyrus, Sans, Undyne, Alphys, Toriel. Monsters are weird, even though they barely know you. It feels like they all really love you. Huh. Frisk, I... I understand if you can't forgive me. I understand if you hate me. I, I acted so strange and... Horrible. I hurt you. I hurt so many people. 
friends, family, bystanders. There, there's no excuse for what I've done. Yes. Wh what? Risk? Come on, you're not gonna make me cry again. Besides, even if you do forgive me, I, I can't keep these souls inside of me. The least I can do is return them. But first, there's something I have to do. Right now, I can feel everyone's hearts beating as one. They're all burning with the same desire. With everyone's power, with everyone's determination, it's time for monsters to finally go free! Break the barrier? Wait. Oh, here it comes. Oh my goodness. Totally just got chills, guys. I don't know, like, because... The barrier was destroyed! Monsters can live with humans again? Uh, what's wrong? What's wrong? But it's all good now, right? Frisk! I have to go now. Without the power of everyone's souls, I can't keep maintaining this form. In a little while, I'll turn back into a flower. I'll stop being myself. I'll stop being able to feel love again. Oh, don't risk. It's best if you just forget about me, okay? No, I'll never forget you. Just go be with the people who love you. But no, I'll comfort you. You, you need some love before you can't feel love again. Oh, oh, look at how tight the hug is. This is too cute. Oh, ha, ha, I don't want to let you go. Oh. I'm sorry, you're going to lose everything. Frisk, you're, you're going to do a great job, okay? No matter what you do, everyone will be there for you, okay? Well... My time's running out. Goodbye. Goodbye. I'm sorry that you're gonna not feel love again. By the way, Frisk, take care of mom and dad for me, okay? I, I think that's what, Asgore and Toriel? Frisk! This is all just a bad dream. Please, wake up. Oh, look at everyone. All my friends. <laughs> Hi, guys. Oh, you're awake. Thank goodness. We were so worried. It felt like you were out forever. Yeah, any longer and I would have freaked out. Tell us next time you decide to take a nap, okay? Yeah, you made Papyrus cry like a baby. What? I didn't cry. I don't cry. I just I caught something in my eye. What did you catch? Tears! Aww. Papyrus. Now, now. The important part is that Frisk is alright. Here, Frisk. Why not drink some tea? It'll make you feel better. Hm. Uh, how about we give them space first? They must be very exhausted. They? Though, from what? I'm not certain. Risk! You don't remember exactly what happened. There was a flower and then everything went white. But now the barrier's gone. When you're ready, we'll all return to the surface. It seems the door to the east lead us there now. But before then, perhaps you might want to take a walk. You can say goodbye to all your wonderful friends. Do as you wish. We will all wait for you here. Oh my, look at this. This is so beautiful. Okay, yes, yes, I do. I want to say goodbye. I want to say goodbye to everyone. I've got to. Amazing. Okay, I'm going to go say goodbye to everyone.
Okay, let's see if it works on these. Oh look, Flake, what's up? So, we're like totally free now, huh? Yeah, like totally free, like cool, yeah, like cool, like millennia of being imprisoned finally over. Yeah, that's like pretty chill, I guess. Um, oh, oops, really? Uh, well, when we said, um, like when we were hope for destruction of humanity, we were just like joking, you know? Did we say that? Probably. It's like practically our catchphrase. Really? I thought our catchphrase was, but Brad is the best, like a cat is the coolest. Um, uh, no, we've like literally never said that. Can it be though? Can it be? The future. Hmm, now that we're gonna be free, OMG, we can finally fulfill our dream of having a pet cat. That's like your dream, Caddy. But Braddy, I don't want to have a dream without you in it. Aw, Caddy. And in my dream, you clean up after the cat. Caddy. <laughs> Do you like cats? Me? Yeah, I love cats. Me? Yeah, I love cats. They're like so tasty. They're like so cute. <laughs> Crocodile. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. No, Braddy, I'm just kidding, kinda. Anyway, when was the last time you even saw a cat around here? Oh, just the other day there was this cute little white cat walking around. It was like so clueless looking. I pet it for like an hour. Caddy. Yeah, Braddy? I think that was like a dog. Dogs are just firm cats. <laughs> nice. So it looks like, um, Everyone think like cha changes things, huh? Huh? I didn't realize an empty gun, huh? Oh, big bug bite on it. Okay, whatever. Um. Okay, let's just there. Okay, like see you later and stuff. Okay, cool. So it looks like everyone's dialogue changes. So like even the store person here. Let's see. Or the the inn. Oh yeah, right. That's not the store. Here we go. Let's see what it says now that I. What can I do for you, little buddy? Freedom. So we're free, huh? Metaton told us as much. Then he told me, don't think that means you're getting out at work early. Ah, my boss, I love that guy. And by that I mean I hate him so, so much. Those girls, the ones he's on my pants falling down, well, we're gonna be free, so I'll never see them again at least. Whoops. Don't tell anyone about this, little buddy, because they'll make fun of me. But I, I feel like I played a hand in everyone getting free somehow. Even if it was just working this awful job, I, th I think I did something. I don't know if it's true, but I'll believe it anyway. And the future? Little buddy, there's a brand new world out there waiting for us. I'm sure with my <clears throat> qualifications, it won't be long before I'm a famous movie star. Or, or maybe I'll just end up flipping burgers again. But it's as I say, nowhere to go but up. Literally in this case. Okay, well, let's continue. All right, let's talk, let's, here we go. Let's talk to him. Haha, <laughs> I knew you could do it. Fluffy ones, why? Okay, okay, okay. I remember it clearly now. It was the monthly address at the castle. She was giving me her part on current events. After finishing her update, she moved to pass the microphone to the king. However, she didn't realize the microphone was still in her hands when she said, your turn, Fluffy Buns. The audience burst into laughter. Realizing what she'd said, she started laughing too. After a few moments, the king held up his arms. The crowd grew silent. He leaned toward the microphone, expression stern. Dear citizens, thank you for coming here today. I, King Fluffy Buns, and the rest is history, <laughs> is Asgore Goat. Eh, Goat? Actually, that reminds me, Toriel once wore a flower pattern moo moo. Folks kept saying nice moo moo to her, but she kept thinking they were calling her a cow, so she never wore it again. What was the question again? Oh, right, Asgore. He's a really interesting type of monster, the strongest type of all. We call them boss monsters. They have an offspring, the soul power of the parents flows into the child, causing the child to grow as the parents age. The Asgore doesn't have a child. So he's been stuck at the same age and probably will be forever. Huh, what if the child is human? What? Nah, that wouldn't work. So if Asgore's your father, he'll definitely outlive you. Oh yeah, of course, Toriel was queen and then Asgore was the king. It was tragic when she left, since everyone she knew, knew she was really the brains behind the throne. But it was also just a teensy, teensy bit relieving, you know? Those who, two were really insufferable together, nuzzling noses, being all cute and cuddly in public, embarrassing their children. They were so, so sweet it made me sick. Thank God those days are oh, over. Um, 
And then finally Undyne. Undyne. She's really come a long way since she was a little urchin. I used to be a hero myself back in the old days. Gerson, the Hammer of Justice. When she was younger, Undyne would follow me around to watch me beat up bad guys. Sometimes she'd even try to help. Though most of the time, the folks she attacked were bad guys. I'd be the mail it'd be the mailman or something like that. Anyway, I appreciate it. Wah ha 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 ha. Okay. So he didn't we didn't talk about freedom with him at all. Okay, let's go check out let's I, I need to see the Tebbies. Um because well, one, I love the music. And two, we gotta see how happy they are that they're free. They probably won't even quite get it, but who cares? <laughs> they're Tebbies. So let's go. I think it was like Ah, come on. Remember the path to the Tembi village. This way. Around here and then yep, down. Sweet. Alright. Oh, the music! Oh, but it's not the music I want to Okay. Wow! Tem here new is very good! Whoa, Tem here new is very good! A pleasing development, no? Wow, that <laughs> are you the one that went to college? Um Thames can go free. Whoa! If Thames can go on surface, can't see a lot of Kutunan. Everyone's go free but Tem. Tem not leave. Tem watch egg. Tem will be happy family. Oh. Mushroom dance. Mushroom dance. Whatever it could, could it mean. Right. Okay. It symbolizes my unbridled happiness. The government told me they are willing to transplant me outside. Why didn't you smile at my dance? It almost feels a little rude. I'm sorry. It was... I, I was. Please. She's waiting for someone to let her out. Uh, right. Well, I, I let everyone out, didn't I? Hi, welcome to the Tem Shop! Uh... Hoi! I'm Temmy. Temmy! You don't care? Bye! Okay. Uh, where else? Oh! Uh, Nafsabluk. Oh! Hey! <laughs> oh, Meditan. I'm a huge fan. Oh! Hi, human. I'll never forget when you cheered me on. When I was pretending to sleep? I would ever so much faith in my fake sleep. Uh, also, this is awkward, but... What's your name? Everyone seems to know it now except me. It's Frisk! Apparently. It seems like I've been missing out lately. I was just sitting at home, listening to tunes. There was a flash of light outside my window. I saw the snails on the farm disappear. And I heard a knock at the door. A flash of light wanted to come in. I closed the blinds. Now everyone knows your name except for me. Frisk. Oh, I won't forget it. All right. What's up, Metaton? There you are, Frisk, darling. Feast your eyes. Dr. Alf has completed my new wonderful new body. Oh, and did you hear? The barriers open. I can't wait to see the sun. The greatest spotlight of all. Oh, yes. I suppose I should thank you too, darling. Before fighting you, I had forgotten how fun it was to perform with others, so I've been searching for hot talents to fill up my upcoming troupe. So far, Shiren's agreed to be my backup singer, and Napsta Blue here will be my sound mixer. The three of us performing together, it really feels overdue, doesn't it? Uh, sure. Uh, it does. Um... Okay, so let's... Oh, we can check Undyne's house, but I think it's just still on fire. Maybe. Let's see. Yep, still on fire. Yep, sounds like only fire lives here now. Are you going to say anything different? So, you helped get us all free. I guess really acted like a dummy to you. <laughs> oh, knock on the door. Come on. Ah, are you kidding me? This never gets opened. That is... That is frustrating. Oh, let's talk to these guys. Oh, we're free? Finally! I'll be able to stop smiling. What? Looks like I don't have to worry about cracking jokes anymore. I was going to say a joke here, but I, I really don't have one. Okay. Uh, let's go to Grillby's. Oh, he moved. Whoa, everybody's in different... I wonder if the old world is hot guys and, and neat drinks. Ooh, I'm ready. Uh, soon I'll be able to try some human food. And then I guess I'll try a human bathroom, too. Gross. Uh, what about you? Hey, people won't have to move in from the city anymore. Looks like we won't have to lose our local culture. Except we're all moving out of here, huh? Oh well. Guess it can't be all punk peaches and punk cream. Peaches and cream. Okay. Oh, can I? Maybe. Let's see, can I? I. I want to like go through everything. I don't want to say goodbye to this game yet. Wow, brand new world. I don't get to translate for Grillby anymore. 
which is fine since I was actually just making up what he was saying. What you get to say? Good job. All right. Thank you. In the end, I never caught any girls on my fishing line. Look, kid, take it from me. Don't try to catch hot people with a fishing rod. Somewhere you hear a whinny of dismay. Uh, finally won a game of poker against itself. Yay, good dog. Um, no, nothing on the tables. Okay. Um, oh, let's talk to the bear here. I heard Dr. Alphys told the king and queen the awful things she's done. The king felt so bad that he didn't know. He gave her a big hug, then the queen fired her. Now we don't have a royal scientist anymore. Ah, it's politics, yes. Hey, little guy. Yo, what's up? I've been kind of doing some thinking. Maybe Undyne isn't as cool as we thought. She's just kind of mean. But yo, I just found out about someone way cooler. <laughs> Who, me? <laughs> Dude, okay. Oh, you were still doing gifts. But it's nice to show humans our presence under the tree tradition. They'll probably be weirded out by it. Surprisingly, probably not. Um, that kid over there told me it'd be weird if I have a pet bunny. First, there'd be nothing weird about it. It's cute. Second, what? You don't want to walk your younger brother on a leash, right? Right. Uh, is anyone else weirded out by those giant shambling amalgamates or what? Um, I guess I can go to the inn. Hey, little guy. Mom says that we can go to the surface world now. What's so great about that, anyway? I, I don't I don't know. Uh, oh, there you are. I was worrying about you. Things are going to be okay, you hear? We're all going to the surface world soon. There's got to be a place you can stay there. Probably. Be surprised if there wasn't. Um, okay. Hello, traveler. What happened? I mean, it happened to you, right? There was a strange flash of white light, then I felt my body being pulled into something. Then suddenly, everything was back to normal. I heard that it was all because a human came through here. A human? I can hardly believe it. Well, if they decide to stop in, I'll be... That, you know that's me, right? Did you hear? The ruins have been opened up. And get this. They were opened from the inside. Apparently the queen had been staying inside there for God knows how long. Pretty unbelievable, huh? Yeah? Well, I suppose I'll move my store to the underworld. I haven't planned much... Or overworld. I haven't planned much more than that, I'm afraid. Okay. I wonder, should I go to the ruins? Is there something there that I need to, like, check out? It's a long way. Whoa! Look at this! <laughs> Monster Kids Word Search! Hey kids, can you help me solve this puzzle? Like, fall, monster cigars, winter skeletons, six spring, Yasha Fulver, summer robot. Can I actually. Oh, I thought I could actually, like. I thought I could actually do it. Can you not? I mean, I can see, like, cigar on the bottom, like S C I. I can see that they're there, but I don't know how to. I don't know how you would. Anyway, <laughs> interesting. Whoa, hey guys. The doctor, she brought my wife back from the dead. My son, he seems happy again. Our family is bigger than ever. Now that my wife is combined with 16 other people. <laughs> uh, what? Mom might have to share her mind with other people now, but she's still my mom. That's cool, because um, we're made of ice and stuff. What? It's a joke. Laugh at it. So, no, we... Okay, right. Well, at least she's back. Kind of, sort of. Trying to remember which way to go. Oh, here we go. What's this snow pile? There's a camera hidden in the bushes. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, this is nuts. I could go back to the spider bake sale and buy the spider donuts. <laughs> that I got rid of on accident. Um, oh, and I could go into Toriel's house, too. I don't know if it'll be any different, but... I don't know if anything will be different. But it did say that it was open, so I feel like it's something that I need, I should do. Because uh, it told me. And, and again, I don't want to give this game up yet. I, I'm not ready for it. Uh, okay, here we are. Toriel's house. Okay, let's see if anything's different here. Um, well, let, let's, yeah, let's go check. Okay, this would have been... This was my room, right? So everything looks about the same here. Empty photo frame, someone's dusted it off. A box of kids' shoes and various sizes. Yeah, but let's go check her room. This is her room. Yeah, okay. It's Toriel's diary. Read the circle passage. Yes, you read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling lonely. Oh, this is the same. Oh, those are her jokes. Oh, there's the yellow flower up there, look. 
Huh. Nothing different here. Don't let me down, come on. Room under renovation still. No, there's gotta be some reason to be here. Maybe she left the fire on? Dangerous. Okay. All right, keep going. Let's just go all the way back to the beginning here. Now wait, with the with the puzzles that I like would fall through the floor, I don't have to do that again, do I? Right? I hope not. So far, I haven't had to, like, repeat any of the puzzles. I can just go straight through them. Find out shortly, though. Okay. Seems safe enough. Do these all say the same thing? There's just one switch. Hmm? Okay. Hey, guys! What's up? Ribbit, ribbit. Yellow names were nice for a while. Next time, we should try a relaxing shade of green. Yeah, that's sweet. Did you ever find this room's fourth frog? What? No? There's a fourth frog? Is it back here? No. Nope. Huh. Ribbit, ribbit, say, now that your journey's over, maybe you'll have time to listen to me. Since most people press X to skip through my dialogue. That's right, pressing X. I suppose some things never change. I did not press X. I don't see a fourth frog. Okay, so now, oh, that's, okay, that's where he, yeah, okay. Oh, the cheese. Looks like the cheese is nibble taken out of it, right. Oh, yeah, I remember that. The talking rock. Okay, so you do. <laughs> well, that'll be fun on the way back. On the way here, I think it's fine. Lovely. Okay. Oh, this is the talking rock, isn't it? Or, I don't... Yeah, well... No, I think... I don't... Wait, I forgot. It's, uh... Fine. <laughs> okay... Hey! Ribbit, ribbit, excuse me, human, you seem like you have grown into a thoughtful and conscientious person. Whether that was from my advice or not, I'm quite proud. Ribbit. Well, good for you. Okay, this is the beginning. We're almost all the way back to the beginning, where this adventure began. I have like a 30 minute walk back to the end, to where all my friends are waiting. There's gotta be. There's got to be a reason for this, right? I know I can just walk straight. I just, I don't know. It gives me something to do during this lovely long passage. Whew. Oh. Oh, jeez. <laughs> when do you go back through this? Okay, well, not that it... I, yeah, I get... You have to follow Toriel, but... Like, her pattern, but at least it doesn't, like, stick you. Poke you. Close now. Oh, the, the original dummy. Hey. Oh, that's the one I just fought. I guess he never talked. There's the switch. <laughs> uh, the labeled switches. Oh, okay. I don't remember this that well. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember this. Okay. Okay. Ah, this is worth it. This is worth it. Don't worry about me. Someone has to take care of these flowers. Risk, please leave me alone. I can't come back. I just, I just can't, okay? Come on, you can. I don't want to break their hearts all over again. You won't. It's better if they never see me. No, come on. Why are you still here? Are you trying to keep me company? Frisk. Hey, let me ask you a question, Frisk. Why did you come here? I just wanted to come back. To where everyone knows the legend, right? Travelers who climb Mount Ebbet are said to disappear. Yeah? Frisk. How would you ever climb a mountain like that? Was it foolishness? Was it fate? Or was it because you... Well... Only you know the answer, don't you? I know why Think climbed the mountain. Wait, Think? You mean Frisk? It wasn't for a very happy reason. Frisk, 
I'll be honest with you. Think hated humanity. I did not! Why they did, they never talked about it. I, they felt very strongly about that. No, that's not true. Frisk, you really are different from Think. That's actually not true because I only killed Asgore, okay? Just because I came back as Frisk and didn't, and, and did this whole thing. Like, in fact, though you have similar uh, fashion choices, I don't know why I ever acted like we're the same person. Maybe the truth is, Think wasn't really the greatest. All right, come on. Well, Frisk, you're the type of friend I wish I always had. So maybe I was kind of projecting a little bit. Let's be honest. I did some weird stuff as a flower. There's one last thing I feel like I should tell you. Frisk, when Think and I combined our souls together, the control over our body was accidentally split between us. They were the one that picked up their own empty body. And then, when we got to the village, they were the one that wanted to, to use our full power. I was the one that resisted. And then, because of me, we, well, that's why I ended up being a flower. Fr Frisk, this whole time I blamed myself for that decision. That's why I adopted that horrible view of the world. Kill or be killed. But now, after meeting you, Frisk, I don't regret that decision anymore. I did the right thing. If I killed those humans, we would have had to wage war against all of humanity. And in the end, everyone went free, right? I still feel kind of sad knowing how long it took. So maybe it wasn't a perfect decision, but you can't regret hard choices your whole life, right? Well, not that I have much of a life left, but that's besides the point. Frisk, thank you for listening to me. You should really go be with your friends now, okay? Oh, please, in the future, if you see me, don't think of it as me, okay? I just want you to remember me like this. Someone that was your friend for a little while. Ah, oh, that's so sad. Oh, and Frisk, be careful in the outside world, okay? Despite what everyone thinks, it's, it's not as nice as it is here. There are a lot of flowies out there. Not everything can be resolved by just being nice. Frisk, don't kill, and don't be killed, all right? Yes, I love it. That's the best you can strive for. Well, see ya. No, Frisk, don't you have anything better to do? No, Frisk. Oh, no, that's it. Well, you know, leave it to Undertale. <laughs> oh, to make you go all the way back to the very first scene in the game to find something that you wouldn't have normally found otherwise. <sighs> all right, now I've got a long, long, long walk back. Oh, I don't want to do this. I don't want to, I don't want this to end. Hey guys! Oh, do I have to? Hello, Frisk. Alpha's upgraded my phone. I'm having a lot of fun with the texting feature. Sans, check out this one. Oh man, Tori, that's brutal. I can't believe the queen has. No, <clears throat> I can't believe the queen has returned. And also, that she's a huge dork. You two are two feet away from each other. Why are you texting? Worry not, Papyrus. We're texting for a good reason. Why is that? Well, because we're huge dorks. <laughs> Sans, please do not say that. You are not a dork. You are more of a bonehead. <laughs> wow, those puns are even less funny coming from her. Then why are you smiling? It's a pity smile. <laughs> oh, hey, what's up, Friss? We were just talking about you. Apparently you asked Tori to call to call Tori mom right after meeting her. Well, it was not right after. It took a couple of minutes. Frisk, I gotta tell ya, that's uh not the best way to get to know someone. It's not? <laughs> Papyrus, we've been over this. Whatever, mom. <laughs> Don't talk back to me like that. Go to your room, Papyrus. Okay, Undyne. Wait, don't don't actually go to your room. I'm getting mixed messages here. <laughs> Wait, what if I talk again? Sorry, I don't have time to talk, Frisk. I'm supposed to be working right now. But you aren't working. 
I know, and it's taken all of my concentration. What is... Risk? Don't feel left out. I've been writing messages to you as well. You still have my phone number after all this time. Do you not? I, I do. I do. Will you answer it? Notice you received a text from Toriel. Dear Frisk, Sans and Alphys are teaching me how to text. I am learning so much. For example, do you know what a smiley is? Please look at this. <laughs> now turn your head to the left. It is a picture of me smiling at you because of the horns. Can you see it? LOL. That stands for lots of laughter. Sincerely, Toriel. That's all for now. Maybe in the next room, you will receive another. Okay. Uh, let's talk to Papyrus. So, Asgore, how about making me a member of the Royal Guard? Well, Papyrus, now that the war is over, we might not need the Royal Guard anymore. What? Then what was the point of the human's quest? They journeyed all that way, and I'm still not a member of the Royal Guard? Truly, this is the worst possible ending. <laughs> it seems like you really botched your quest, Frisk. But I, the great Papyrus, will always be your friend. No matter how try you, no matter how hard you try to get rid of him. Hey, that's true. <laughs> hey, Undyne. So, Alphys, what do you want to do now that we're all free? We have the whole world to explore now. Well, well, of course I'm going to go out and um. No, I should be honest. I'm gonna stay inside and watch anime like a total loser. That's the spirit, everyone! A celebration to being losers! <laughs> Papyrus has the right idea. Losing to Frisk isn't the best thing to ever happen. So I'm glad that we... Huh? What is it, Asgore? Um, what's an... Anime? Uh-oh. <laughs> O-M-G? Frisk? Please, 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 Help me explain what anime is to Asgore. Y you see, it's like a cartoon, but, uh, with swords. So it's like a cartoon, but with swords. Golly, that sounds neato. Where is this? Where can I see the anime? Uh, hold on, uh, I, I think I might have some on my phone. Here, look at this. Oh, uh... Um, that's the, 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 that's the wrong, uh, never mind. Golly, were those two robots kissing? <laughs> Boy, technology sure is something, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it there is. Okay. Hey, Alphys, Alphys, do you think we could watch something with fighting next? Oh, and then, and then something with princesses or fighting princesses? I'll see if I can manage to find any like that online. Yay! All right, Alphys. Psst, Risk. Um, you gotta tell me. Do you think Asgore and Toriel are ever gonna get back together? I think they might. Y yeah, yeah, that's what I hope too. Just to think about how cute they must have been together if quickly becoming my number one ship of all time. Tori and Gori. My. My old boss and his ex-wife. Uh, that sounds a lot less cool all of a sudden. On second thought, maybe I won't write fanfic of real people. I mean, isn't real life already the greatest fanfiction of all? Uh, don't tell anyone I said that. Cause I'm gonna post it online! Wait, what if I... Okay, alright. Okay. Okay, okay, I'm just... Just making sure I get through all of it. Howdy, Frisk. Sorry about almost trying to take your soul. I feel very bad about it. I hope we can still be pals. Hey, don't worry about it, Asgore. I think everybody's tried to kill Frisk at least once. Oh, I see. In that case, I'm not sorry, Frisk. <laughs> Asgore, that, that's not what I meant. Frisk, I just realized. Now that we aren't fighting each other, I can finally ask you. Would you like a cup of tea? <laughs> yeah. Would you like a cup of tea? Uh, yes, I would. Thank you. Oh, well, actually, the cup I had is cold now, so you shouldn't have it. But I'm happy you said yes. As soon as I can, I will make some more for you. Then we can be great pals. Okay. Oh, bye, guys. 
Oh. Wait. Okay, here it is. Going through the barrier. Or, well... You leave here, your adventure will really be over. Your friends will follow you out of the underground. <sighs> ah, I am so not ready for this game to end. Seriously, I've got to say it's probably the best game. Yeah, it's definitely the best game I've ever played. And I hope you guys feel that way too. Okay, I'm going to be quiet. Oh my! They haven't seen the sun before, have they? Or not in a long time, anyway. Isn't it beautiful, everyone? Wow! It's even better than on TV! Way better! Better than I ever imagined! Risk, you live with this? The sunlight is so nice! The air is so fresh! I really feel alive! Hey fans! What's that giant ball? <laughs> We call that the sun, my friend. That's the sun? Wowie! I can't believe I'm finally meeting the sun! I can stand here and watch this for hours. Yes, it is that beautiful, is it not? But we should really think about what comes next. Oh, right. Everyone, this is the beginning of a bright new future. An era of peace between humans and monsters. Risk. I have something to ask of you. Will you act as our ambassador to the humans? Of course! Yes, absolutely. Yeah, Frisk will be the best ambassador and I, the great Papyrus, will be the mascot. I'll go make a good first impression. Oh, jeez. Well, someone's got to keep him from getting into trouble. See you guys! Sans, you, 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 that was the wrong way. Man, do I have to do everything? Papyrus, wait! Hey, Undyne, wait up! Alright, it's just the three of us now. Whoops. <laughs> it's alright. You guys are free to do whatever you want. Uh, should I do something? <laughs> Toriel gives him like a, huh, gives him the eyes. Well, gotta go. Just me and Toriel now, just like the beginning. It seems that everyone is quite eager to set off. You too, huh? Risk? You came from this world, right? So you must have a place to return to, do you not? What will you do now? I want to stay with you. What? Risk? You really are a funny child. If you had said that earlier, none of this would have happened. But mom, we're on the surface now, and I'm happy. It is a good thing you took so long to change your mind. <laughs> well, I suppose if you really do not have any other place to go, I'll do my best to take care of you for as long as you need. All right? Now, come along. Oh, everyone's waiting for us. Yay! It's happy! Happy, 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 happy. There it is, the end! Oh, man. Um, so guys, that... Oh, look at that. Oh, this is so cool. So obviously you guys know that Toby is the game creator. So look, Frog It by Toby, Professional Frog Braver Every Day, Mold Swell by Toby, Backup Dancer, Look by Temmy. Oh, not by Toby, Reformed Bull, Reform Bully, Vegetoy by Toby and Temmy, Popular Nutritionist, Migos Casually Enjoys Life. I think Temmy is another developer. I think he helped a little bit. Now Sub Luke by Toby, Spooky DJ. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, look at Papyrus. Papyrus by Toby and Temmy. Look at him riding, driving the car. Sans. <laughs> yes. Oh, the credits. It just doesn't end with this game, does it? Special inspiration by J.N. Weedle. Snow Drake by Magnolia Porter and Ice Cap. Still looking for laughs, thinking about its hat. Jif Trot. 
Uh, and Doggo has his own seeing eye dog finding peace and quiet. <laughs> Dogami and Dogaressa. Uh, finally, number one, Nose Muscle Champions. <laughs> Lesser dog and greater dog. Let's see, let's see. Searching for affection and excited by life's changes. Ah, this is good. Oh, look at everyone at the beach! <laughs> Undyne, designed by Toby. Armor by Temi. Fashion help. Uh, Alphys, designed by Toby. Oh, look at <laughs> Oh, look at her blush. <laughs> nine, 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 nine. Oh, brilliant. Oh, that's so cute. Aaron by Temi, reluctantly. <laughs> Still flexing idyllic life on the beach. Uh, Washua, legendary janitor, and Temi by Temi. Mad Dummy by Toby. Um, calm down just a bit. Taking piano lessons again. Oh, they're watching a movie. Oh, it's Metaton! <laughs> <gasps> They're watching Metaton's new play, I guess. <laughs> Special inspiration, Bob, Sparker, Sarah, and J.N. Weedle. Does it mean Bob Sparker? Um, let's see, Vulcan and Sunderplane. Let's see, Vulcan, Encouraging Space Eater, and finally confesses, what I do not. <laughs> Pyrope and Miss Muffet, Candle in the World's Largest Birthday Cake, and Spider Success with a new bakery. The Royal Guards. Use your own, <laughs> use your imagination, okay. Uh, final Froggit and Whimsalot. Let's see, giving life to its own meaning and the long battle finally ending. Astigmatism by Toby, domineering glasses seller. Way to go, that's so cool. Um, magic and the Night Night Street Magician and taking a well-deserved nap. Oh yeah, he was always sleeping. Amalgamates. Uh, Nice. Living with their families. Yay! And I only found one of them. I wonder if I could could have... Well, it's too late now. Oh, look at Asgore. He's got a papyrus um, hedge there and Monster Kid. Like, cute. And, uh, oh, there's Toriel. So maybe they are living together now. Oh, she's a school teacher. Oh, that's brilliant. That's perfect. Oh, come on. No way! Yes, I love you, Undertale. Ha 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 ha! Did you really think it was over? No way! Oh, wait, what? I mean, we haven't even done the special thanks yet. Ready? Let's end all of this for good. Oh. Okay. Oh, are you supposed to dodge everything? Oh. Okay. Okay, look at- Wow, all these people are special thanks? Okay, yeah. Oh, jeez, oh, jeez, oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, what? <laughs> what are you supposed to? Okay. Yeah, right. Okay, what am I supposed to do here? Really? Like, come on. <laughs> but I love that they even put the battle system in all these credits. Wow. Why are there... Well, there's so many. Oh, okay, I'll just... Oh! <laughs> That's really cool that, like that he even puts it in the credits that you can sort of play the credits. Woo! Yeah! Um, okay, that's not easy. <laughs> okay, I'm not doing well. Wow. So, this many people, I think, helped inspire him, I guess? Like, but I know it was developed mostly by the single developer. Okay, get, oh my goodness. Gosh, this music is so good. Okay. Woo. Oh, I missed that one. That was good. Okay. Oh, they're coming at me again. They're coming at me again. Woo. Oh, man. So.
Oh, here it is, the end. Oh, touched credits. Oh, so those are the people that I ran into. That is so cool. Beautiful. <laughs> I love it. Thanks to friends, family, for supporting us in Undertale team. Thanks to you, the player, from the bottom of our hearts. Without you, all of this would be impossible. Good night. Oh, beautiful. That... <laughs> really the end? I don't know. Oh, no way. Mom! Butterscotch pie! Oh. The end? There it is, this is the final, I guess, well, there it is, the end, for real, this time, right? Dun, dun, dun. That's the song I figured out how to play back, and it was kind of worthless, but. Ah, so there we go, guys, that is it, the end, I, amazing, amazing, amazing game. Wow, um. I, I know that you guys are probably going to say now do the genocide run and I'm not going to because I know it gets really dark and maybe not that family friendly killing everything and I have become too invested in my friends and you guys know who I am and what I'm about and that's hey little guy um I, I just I'm not gonna kill everyone so this is really the end of Undertale on my channel. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed playing it. Really, really is the best game I've ever played. <sighs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks for watching. And of course, new line.